Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Paranormal Connection. I'm your host, Donna Wilberg. Well, tonight we are so pleased to have back in our studio Susan Rupel, who is the CEO of Wintuition. It's a fabulous, fabulous uh, business, intuitive business. Yes. And uh, Susan's going to tell us all about it. Thank Hi, you, Susan. Donna. Hi, Susan. Yeah, it's so good to have you back. Thank you. So tell us, what is Wintuition? Wintuition, Donna, is taking intuition and making it very intentional. Because when we use intuition intentionally in business, in particular, our clients win, we win, everybody wins. So that's how I came up with the term Wintuition. Well, what is your background? I actually have a 30-year corporate background in information technology. And at the same time for many years, I was a professional intuitive. Mm -hmm. And I started out doing general intuitive readings. And then I got fascinated with medical intuition. I ran across Carolyn Mace, who along with Dr. Norm Sheely helped coin the term medical intuition. And so I studied and practiced medical intuition as a professional medical intuitive for a while. And then about eight years ago, I started being focused on business intuition. Because what I saw is people, in particular women, allow intuitive insights to drop in now and again, but they don't intentionally go out and access it in mm -hmm. purposeful ways. And so that's what fascinates me about business intuition is helping entrepreneurs and business owners tune into that intuition as a very practical business resource. Now, from my impression, your business or what your intention for your business has an energy of its own, is that correct? That's correct, and I like to say your business has a mind of its own. Would you like to know what it has to say? <laughs> and it does, even if we're a solopreneur, a one person business, it do does have its own innate intelligence. And so I like to use my prop, the old universal remote. Mm -hmm. So instead of tuning into the TV program or the movie or the music you wanna enjoy, you're using your intuition as the as the universal remote, and you're tuning into all different sources of knowledge and wisdom. So I can tune into the client themselves, mm -hmm. I can tune into the business, I can tune into their prospects, I can tune into their existing clients and find out what they want and need from them. It's like instant market research. Or you can even think of it, hit the channel and tune into your products and services to optimize mm -hmm. them, or your website, or your event, or your speaking engagement, or your book that you're writing. There are all sources of information and energy that we can tune into and know more how the business wants to manifest through us and our work in the world. Well, it's terrific. I did have a reading with you, and we're going to talk about that a little bit later. But what fascinated me was the process. So we went to your location, mm -hmm. and we actually sat down with Randy Taylor, who's a friend of mine and an actor. Mm -hmm. and. Um, to have a reading, yes. and he, I'd say he was pretty blown away. Mm -hmm. So let's show a little bit of that clip. And okay. What is the first question that you'd like intuitive clarity around, Mandy? Well, I guess the first one would be, it's pretty easy to see short term where the most money would come from, but I'd want to know if there's one I maybe should eliminate altogether Well, this because of time management. Yes. Um, the first one is it looks like the, the majority of your income is currently coming from the financial and life insurance and retirement. Correct. And yet this one has the least, the least joy and the least energy to it. I would agree. <laughs> and so it looks like you've been doing that for quite some time. Yes. And so you've kind of been there, done that is the energy of it. And um, although you like the way it helps people and that it supports people, it doesn't give you the creativity that you need because you, you're a very creative, a very creative individual. And so you, um, the way that, that that's showing up is there's this, this creativity curve. And so this is the inception. This is idea inception. And this is, uh, for example, design, whether, whether it's an idea or project or or an acting job, or a, mm -hmm. or you know whatever project it is, and then this is implementation, and then this is this is more or less like maintenance. Okay. And where you live is here in the creative aspect, where this is the area that you enjoy the most, and I see you chuckling. Uh, I'm laughing because you're right on. Yeah. Yes. And so. Yeah. 
the the insurance and financial has really gotten to be more of a maintenance. You know, it's kind of repetitive with different people, but you're doing predominantly the same thing. Mm -hmm. And so that's why the two things that are drawing you more so than the financial is the um, the Randy Taylor speaker and sales trainer and the Randy Taylor actor MC. And so mm -hmm. these these two things actually they they have that level of creativity that you so much more enjoy. Mm -hmm. And you like building new things. And you've done, uh, you're showing us that you have done a lot of different things in your life. And that's what you like is new, new and different. You also enjoy, you like people a lot, so you're a people person. And although the financial piece allows you to interact with people, it's on quite a limited basis. So you're mm -hmm. really having similar discussions with a lot of people, although you're learning about their life in, in doing that. What you so much enjoy, and that's why you enjoy the, the acting in particular, um, is that you really get to be different roles, you get to talk to people in different ways, you get to experience different mm -hmm. things. And so that's another reason that these two elements are showing up. That was fabulous information and very appropriate if I may say. Thank now, you. You, didn't, you didn't know Randy from Adam. Uh, I'd never met him before until <laughs> he walked in the door. Well, the information that you gave him was, yeah. was pretty, it wasn't pretty intuitive, it was very intuitive, and, and it was exactly what he needed to hear, which uh, I was very happy. Yeah. You know? Well, like a lot of entrepreneur, entrepreneurs, Randy mm -hmm. is very unique, and yet in a certain aspect, he's kind of typical in that I call him multipreneurs, mm -hmm. where entrepreneurs, often have multiple businesses and they're not sure where to focus or they have multiple projects going on and don't know where to focus and as with Randy the, the business itself showed us what was the highest priority and what was most important for him to focus on and also what was the least energy and what was really not making him very happy anymore and where he was really um, the areas there where he mean, he's meant to focus are the things that he loves to do and he has the most skills and talents and natural abilities, that whole creativity space and being able to work with people and such. So that's often the case that we're able to tune in intuitively and see what's in your highest good as well as the highest good of the business and being able to align those. So now you're working from your natural talents and abilities implementing the, the business in the form that it wants to show up in the world. You know, and it incorporates other um, avenues like astrology and stuff when you have your birth chart done and it'll say, you know, whether you're on your path or not. Mm -hmm. So what you do is you kind of have honed that for, for the client mm -hmm. and reassure them or help them along their path. Yes. And I like to use my prop here. This represents your business based upon your five physical senses and logic mm -hmm. and your creativity. And yet when you incorporate your intuition, your intuition can expand exponentially. So do you want your business to look like this? Or do you want your business to look like this? That's pretty impressive. <laughs> it's really impressive. And our business, being in business, is also, as you know, Donna, it's about making decisions every mm -hmm. day, all day long. And so when we can tune in and make the the best decisions that are in alignment with who we are and in our business and sometimes also our social mission. It can be a for-profit business or it can be a social mission that somebody wants to implement. Mm -hmm. So tuning into the innate intelligence of that social mission and seeing how they can help their community as well or the world. There's, there's a point where you have to trust yes. what you're getting, what you're hearing. And one of the things that I liked about what you do is you always have a reference. Mm -hmm. You know, you have that reassurance. You know, well, Susan pointed out this, and which puts a lot of responsibility on your shoulders, I'm sure. But at the same time, what you say is, is, is so logical, and it, it's not anything that a financial wizard or, or somebody else that's in business, they, they'd give you probably the same advice. Am I correct? Yes, and I'm all about being practical uh -huh. because if it's not practical, it's fun, but kind of what's the point? Right. But to be able to tune in and, and know and bring forward the information that's very 
prioritized, practical, and actionable, that, that's what it's about for me. That's what helping people in business make those decisions, have their prioritized action steps, and really that encouragement. And when people like Randy mm -hmm. come to me, who I've never met before, as you, as you saw, mm -hmm. I got his birth, had him speak his birth name, so that's like his, his energetic fingerprint, thumbprint, and then I had him speak the business names and just a sentence or two about the business. And that's not for my left brain, my Susan mind to engage. That's for me to tune into the innate intelligence of the business or the businesses intuitively. Mm -hmm. And then to be able to come forward and be able to see his vision for his businesses and then add extra pieces that he hadn't been considering, it's really validating and confirming to people that somebody else is able to tune in without ever having to talk, having told them about mm -hmm. it, be able to see their vision and help them clarify it and expand it and get those prioritized action steps. Oh, well, I love it. And I hope the audience appreciates, you know, the, the actual scene mm -hmm. where you do your business and how you do your business as well. And you also are international. Yes, I am. So we talked to one of your international clients. You want to set yes. this clip up for yes. us? Yes. Uh, we talked to Tanya. She's mm -hmm. in Maui, actually. Mm -hmm. And she's been a client for a number of years. And she is a graphic design person. Her business is called The Symbolist. And she does amazing intuitive graphic work, logos, websites, branding. Just brilliant. As fact, has done most of my logo and branding materials. And she is still getting um, settled in Maui. She moved there a year ago. And she's looking, she was looking for ways to market her services and to also be able to figure out what networking groups or what marketing avenues she should be pursuing to be able to get her business uh, expanded and growing. And last year we had actually tuned in for her as well and repackaged her offerings so that she was attracting more clients. Mm -hmm. And now we've done that at Beat again. We're looking again at the, the marketing. Of course, she still markets to people internationally, but she's looking at how to bring more people in the islands, the Hawaiian islands, uh, in as clients. So we were able to tune in and see. In fact, that's another source of, of information. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when I'm doing my work, it's like a split screen TV, if you can think of that. So on one side is is Tanya and her business, and then on the other side of the screen is the networking organization she was considering being becoming engaged in. Mm -hmm. And so then I look to see what's the connection, what's the best way for her, her to connect with that, with that networking group, or not. <laughs> in yeah. some cases it's, well maybe she's not supposed to join, for example, mm -hmm. she's supposed to go and meet the people and have those connections. So I do the same thing when I'm helping people look, for example, at their website. Mm -hmm. So as I'm looking at their website on one side of the screen, on the other side I'm looking at her, the audience who will be seeing the website. Now are they, are they getting the eyebrow scrunch as I call it? Or do they have a question? Are they not happy with what they're seeing? Are they offended? Are they happy? Are mm -hmm. they leaning forward energetically? So those are all ways that we can tune in and see, but also feel Sometimes I hear intuitively what, whether the people viewing the website in this example, whether they're saying yes, no, I don't know, or they're asking questions in their mind. And so all those modes of intuition, seeing, hearing, feeling in the physical body and knowing are all skills that everybody can hone in their intuition and in their business. Well, right now, why don't we tune in to uh, Tanya's reading Perfect. in Hawaii and take a look. This is an intuitive business accelerator consultation for Tanya on June 11th, 2014. And Tanya, if you'll please speak your business name, I'll complete my intuitive tune in. Okay, the business name is The Symbolist. Excellent. And what is your question you'd like intuitive clarity around today? Okay, well, um, the last session we had, we were talking about some changes I'm making mm -hmm. in marketing my business over here. Mm -hmm. and Where I might want to 
start showing up more in the community and, and just looking at that. Right. So and the what, energy of that group in particular and if I should keep looking a lot of other places. And what was the name of that group again? It was the Maui Executive Association. So it's one of those weekly referral type groups, but yes. it's an independent. So the first thing that's drawing us, though, intuitively, uh, Tanya, is the, the concept of you doing some subcontracting. Okay. So there are some, some uh, shops, some storefronts um, in your region, uh, in Maui, um, where they need someone of your caliber and of your skill set um, to help with the design work. Primarily it's about design. Right. Because it looks like a lot of these shops, these storefronts, they have, they have some of the technical acumen and they have, you know, the equipment, but it looks like they're light on design people. Right. And, and it's really awful stuff. Yes. <laughs> And so you do love to work independently, and yet you have the opportunity to get some subcontracting work at some of these storefronts, as well as this will also lead you to, um, to direct clients as well. Right. Now, when we look at the Maui Executive Association uh, intuitively, there's um, what we're seeing is give it six months, so, in other words, try it is what we're hearing. Try it for, for six months and, and then evaluate. Okay. Because what we're seeing that's different, a little bit different uh, on Maui than uh, in other areas of the, the mainland or the big island, as uh, you folks like to say, is that because it's such a small uh, footprint, a small community, What you're showing us is once you make those connections, because in Maui you make um, faster connections. Right. And so there, there isn't as much as there would be elsewhere the need for you to, uh, to be in a particular networking group, for example, for years on end. Right. Because yeah. you have that was interesting. You. And very helpful. It, it, you know, just listening in on, on that conversation, I, I thought was, you know, you had a, so many great tips and uh, things for her to, to follow through on. Mm -hmm. So um, hopefully what we've presented today will give our viewers kind of an overview of what they can expect when Excellent. they come to have a reading with you. And you've had some pretty high profile clients as well? Yes, but yeah. usually the higher profile they are, the less luck likely they are to allow me to share their their name right. as a client. Right. So we won't ask the names, but yes. you know, can you can you share some of the successes that you've had with people and, and where they've started and, and how far they've gone with a your advice? Absolutely. One example is a client I have that's involved in world health mm -hmm. and she's actually been able to get uh, information through through me and herself uh, from her business so that she's able to actually uh, help more people um, have world health so health care in third world countries for example mm -hmm. so saving more lives so when I get to help somebody save more lives it's it's just so uh, so close to my heart mm -hmm. to be able to help people and most of my clients are service providers. I have some people that, that offer products as well, but most of them are out serving others. So when I can help them get their message out and help serve more people out in the world, um, Tanya for, is a good example. She's help people, helping people brand and get their message out mm -hmm. so they can get their blessing out in the world. It's really, it's, it's amazing. And so I've worked in dozens of different industries and the great part is I don't have to understand their industry to be able to help them because as you talked about earlier Donna about the responsibility my responsibility is being an impeccable channel mm -hmm. for the information that wants to come through right so it's it's great in fact I heard uh, a speaker the other day that said everybody all humans have one thing in common well many things but one thing is we're all looking for answers but mm -hmm. we're all looking for our own answers and so that's 
my responsibility is to help people find their own answers. I think that's one of the things that I like that you mentioned. You always include your information. Mm -hmm. it, it's We have the knowing. Yes. It's there. Yes. You're just sort of kind of a conduit. That's right. And uh, that's that's really helpful to know. So, so when you get these answers from Susan and it, you do have an aha moment, uh, which I will share, but it, it's also, you know, deep inside, it feels like home. Yes. It feels like something comfortable that you already have known, but you're just really affirming it for everybody. And I tell wonderful. my, yes, thank you, Donna. And I tell my clients, they're on what I call an intuitive ride along. Mm -hmm. So even though you're already intuitive, when we work together, you're further developing your intuition and how to use it in business in very practical and focus, focused ways so that you aren't dependent upon me forever. We help you access your business intuition, what I call your inner CEO, mm -hmm. so that you can use that in your business day to day as well. So once you do a reading, mm -hmm. what, is, what are the follow-up uh, appointments, what are they like? Well, it's very similar. The, the initial reading is often a very high level mm -hmm. um, strategy, clear vision, specific strategies, their most important action steps. And then people often want to work with me further because that, they want that kind of clarity in all areas of their business. So then they can come back with a package of consultations and we can drill down into everything from branding and messaging to market niche, product and service potential, um, uh, again, their website, their events, how to package their services, how to price them, um, their speaking to be able to help them be a more effective speaker, um, writing their book, being a more effective author, drawing their book out of them mm -hmm. uh, in, in different ways. And so it's, all, it's also people interaction. So some of my clients, I help them hire people that are the right fit. For the, for the opportunity that they're offering. And it's also, as you noticed, Donna, it's not just information, it's also energetic. Mm -hmm. And so I'm also helping my clients raise the vibrational frequency of themselves, their business, their, their project, their whatever it is, their, their book or their website. We're raising that vibrational frequency. And part of that is that validation and that confirmation where I'm helping them see the bigger picture, the bigger vision for their work in the world. And that in and of itself, along with the extra clarity and the priorities and the focus and the practicality, that raises their vibrational mm -hmm. frequency of everything and allows them to move their business forward faster. Wow, okay, I can't contain myself <laughs> any longer. When I, when I came to you for a reading, I was asking specifically about my writing career. Mm -hmm. um, and you had I had asked you a specific question whether I should go with a uh, self-publishing or go with a publisher, and you proceeded to tell me to hold out for the publisher because you had seen my work as becoming a New York bestseller. Mm -hmm. Although that hasn't happened yet. 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 <laughs> yet. And I'm feeling the yet because I actually, not too much longer after I I'd spoke to you, I did get a publisher who was interested in all three of my books, <laughs> who was doing some phenomenal marketing, and my book launch is October 7th. That's kind of unheard of. Congratulations. Yeah, Thank that's you. pretty quick. That's really quick. <laughs> that's really quick. Excellent. So all along, I felt like I was on the right path, and you you validated that all for me. Excellent. It was like I, I was able to take that extra step, and it just felt so good. So I thank you for that, and I recommend anybody who is interested in going into business or has a business, see Susan. I was just, I, I'm just so pleased with, with uh, everything you had to say. Thank you, Donna. And now that we've only got a few minutes left, mm -hmm. um, let's have your information. Yes. My website is wintuition.com. That's W I N T U I T I O N, wintuition.com. And I am at, uh, in Sacramento, California, but work internationally by Skype. And I draw and write what comes forward as well as verbalize it. And that's part of what people get in their consultation is the audio as well as the visuals, the visual roadmap. And so I'm Susan Rupel, Chief Intuition Officer at wintuition.com. That was fabulous. Well, we need to give a little bit of information about the Paranormal Connection.
The Paranormal Connection airs the first and third Thursday at 9.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Our companion show, Story Connection, airs the second and fourth Thursdays of each month. Each episode repeats the following Friday at 1.30 p.m. and Saturday at 5.30 a.m. Watch these programs online at the same airtimes by going to accesssacramento.org and clicking Watch 17. In the Sacramento region, you can see us on Comcast Channel 17 and on AT&T Channel 99. You can find previously aired shows on the Paranormal Connection YouTube channel. For information on upcoming shows and previous Paranormal Connection guests, go to paranormalconnectiontv.blogspot.com. You can contact us at paranormalconnectiontv at gmail.com. And don't forget, find us on Facebook. Become a friend and become a fan. So we have a few minutes left. Mm -hmm. What kind of advice would you like to give people out there who are listening to this program? Well, my advice would be to get intentional about your intuition. Mm -hmm. Really spend time each day tuning in intuitively, getting focused and getting present, and asking the questions you that you really want the answers to in your business. And then listening, seeing, feeling, and knowing your answers. Because the more you use your intuition, the more it will expand, and the more you'll trust it, and the more it will expand. Remember, you, business has a mind of its own. Tune in and know what it has to say. That's excellent advice, excellent. Well, once again, I'd like to thank everybody for watching uh, The Paranormal Connection. Uh, we're so happy to bring people like Susan Rupel to your home, and uh, hopefully you've taken advantage of uh, some of the things that she's had to say, and look her up, or Think about you know what what's going on with your business, mm -hmm. so it's, it's it's all good, right? Right. Okay. Well, thanks again to my crew, Lisa, and Greg, and Ted for coming out, and Laura. I'm hoping you're feeling better, and uh, I'm so appreciative of the volunteers that we have to put on the show. Without yeah, them, we wouldn't uh, wouldn't be able to do this. So, thanks for watching, and thanks again for coming on and sharing your wonderful expertise, Susan. Thank you, Donna. All right. With that, we're going to say good night.